Hi everyone, it's Rhoda and in this video I am talking about something that is very near and dear to my heart and that something is crystals. Crystals are amazing. If you are not using crystals in your daily life right now, if you're not using them in your meditation practice, not using them to heal and to balance and to align yourself, your chakras, your emotions and all of that, you got to start, all right? They will help you to evolve and grow and to be more of yourself, to live in alignment with really who you are. I'm actually kind of like kicking myself. I'm a little disappointed in myself because I'm, I was looking at my, um, you know, my videos on YouTube that I've done in the past and I can't figure out why I have not done a crystal video yet. What is that? All right, if you know me, you know of my obsession with crystals. I am so obsessed. When I travel, um, I, I'm always sure to look up online where all the nearest crystal stores are, and I, I visit them no matter how, like if it's an hour away, I don't care, I'll go. If it's a two hour drive, I don't care. And I have a huge collection. I use them for all sorts of things, and I'm really excited to share those things with you, some of them in this video. I'm going to just be um, taking you around, showing you some of the things in my house, how crystals have really changed my life pretty much, and amplified and raised my vibration. Um, before I do that, I just want to share a little quote with you from the book, The Crystal Bible. Many of you may know about this if you are into crystals, because this is like the crystal, I mean, it's just in the title, The Crystal Bible, okay? This is a good book to have, um, it just pretty much, you know, goes through all the crystals and different colors, different properties, different benefits of the crystals, it has a lot of great pictures, a lot of great info in it. The author, Judy Hall, um, she writes, I'm just going to read a couple of sentences for you from the book, crystals are the Earth's DNA, a chemical imprint for evolution. They are miniature storehouses containing the records of the development of the Earth over millions of years and bearing the indelible memory of the powerful forces that shaped it. Some have been subjected to enormous pressure, others grew in chambers deep underground, some were laid down in layers, others dripped into being, all of which affects their properties and the way they function. All right, sorry, I read you three sentences. I only meant to read you two, but I, I thought that sentence was really good too, just to kind of give you, just to kind of give you an example of why crystals are so powerful. These crystals, the energy that they have amassed over these millions of years um, helps us by aligning our bodies, aligning our emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, aligning all of those, balancing us. And today we are using crystals for so many things. Um, using crystals to attract love or attract money, uh, using crystals to just feel healthier, to alleviate depression, to stimulate creativity, um, to just heal if we have any chronic kind of pain, any issues. Um, certain crystals can heal certain parts of the body, can heal certain uh, organs. And so um, I'm, just, I'm just so fascinated by crystals and they've really just amplified so much in my life. And so anyway, um, I guess I just want to, you know, dive right in and just share with you some of the ways that I use crystals. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the first crystal that I want to show you. Uh, it's an orange calcite, and um, I love calcite crystals. Um, they are like my main addiction right now. Um, orange calcite is great for um, the lower chakras. Um, it's a very, um, it's a it's a crystal that um, gives just a lot of energy and kind of lifts the mood, you know, lifts the vibration. Um, you know, with the orange color, it's really great for stimulating creativity, um, which is why I have it on my desk, um, you know, for when I'm writing and working. Um, I'll often place my hand over uh, the crystal, you know, while I'm at my desk. So um, you can kind of, I don't, you can't really get a sense of how big it is, huh? Because it's huge. Um, if I, let's see. Even if I carry it, it doesn't even do this justice, really. But do you see that, how big it is? It's really heavy, too. Um, yeah, this crystal is, uh, like, a savior. Okay, so uh, welcome to my altar, um, what it looks like right now. It's always changing. 
uh, depending on, you know, what I'm feeling and uh, what I feel I need uh, at the moment. Um, <laughs> my my one-year-old just, like, recently came through and totally overturned everything on my altar. So this was my, this was just an effort to put everything kind of back <laughs> in some kind of order. Um, but I just wanted to show you some of the crystals that I work with, uh, during meditation. Um, okay. So, um, here's my amethyst. Um, this one is actually, um, man, I just really feel like I mean, I'm looking at the image here and honestly, it does not do justice what I see in front of me, but I hope you can see the beauty of this, um, the crystals in this. It's like massive and it's just, there's just so much going on in these layers here. Um, I just picked this up at a crystal fair actually um, the past weekend uh, in Northern California. Um, and I love uh, meditating with amethyst. Uh, what I'll do is I will um, hold it in my hands while I meditate. And then, you know, you just go about the meditation as normal. You don't, you don't really need to focus so much on the crystal. The crystal will do its job, you know, um, but just holding it and keeping it near me. Sometimes I actually will work with directly with the crystal also, um, using it to move energy back and forth. Um, and also using it to help me release things that are not serving me anymore. Um, but maybe I'll do a, a video in the future on like what that looks like, you know, like meditating with a crystal. Here's another amethyst. This is probably the oldest crystal that I have, I think. My mom gave it to me when I was, I don't know, 12 or 13 or something. It's I've had this for a long time. Amethyst is a crystal that is really great for um, just balancing the body, balancing the hormones, um, the whole endocrine system. It's really great um, for just feeling peaceful um, and at ease. Um, and um, it's really great for just psychic, just trying to enhance intuition and psychic abilities. It's been really great for me in that way. This is a green aventurine crystal, um, and I, I use this just because it's really good for attracting like wealth, abundance. So when I'm doing anything specific toward that, you know, I have this. This is my selenite wand, and selenite is a great crystal. First of all, I mainly use selenite for um, just protection of the house. Um, I have selenite around because it's really great just for steering negative energy away from the house and just giving the house this nice, protective, stabilizing feeling. Um, this is also great for, you know, crown chakra stuff, third eye, um, intuition. Um, and I mean, it's a great crystal to meditate with. It really is. It's very um, nurturing and very stabilizing. And now uh, these crystals are called Botswana Agate. And these I keep in my purse. Um, and whenever I need them, I pull them out and I pull them just like this. Like I squeeze them and just breathe. Um, these are really good for um, just dealing with um, any kind of grief or loss. Um, they're also really good for balancing emotions. Um, so I highly recommend um, having something with you, uh, you know, when you're on the go is nice. Even if you don't use it, it's just nice to know that it's there. Um, you know, if you're just stressed out, you know, or you're going into work and you just might need something to turn to, um, or, you know, even if you're not, you're just out and about and you just have a moment and you just need something stabilizing, something to sort of bring you back and ground you. Um, it's nice to keep them on you. I also like to keep the, um, the amethyst um, that I showed you uh, at my altar. One of those amethysts I actually also put in my purse too. Sometimes I will even, uh, when I'm in the car, I will take out a crystal and I will just put it like out, you know, like on the seat next to me, if it's, if it's empty, 
um, or I will put it in the cup holder or something, you know, just to sort of protect me while I'm driving. And I wanted to show you what I like to sleep with under my pillow. This is a smoky quartz crystal. And uh, smoky quartz is really great for um, protecting, protecting against negativity. That's why I love it. That's why I like to sleep with it. Um, and that it always changes what, you know, what is under my pillow is always changing. Um, so uh, I, I, you know, I just find that sleeping with a crystal, especially in the beginning, you know, like if I love something and I buy it, I like to get to know it. I find sleeping is a really good way of just connecting with it, becoming intimate with it. Uh, and I find, you know, depending upon the crystal, that it'll help you to just have a nicer sleep. Um, and for me, it helps me remember my dreams. Um, they make my dreams a little more vivid, which I like. One of the last things I want to show you is how I use crystals to help grow plants. <laughs> um, I have become a little, just, you know, a little obsessed with growing plants lately. Um, and I'm really excited because I... Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. You know, I've, I like one of my dreams is to grow like the majority of my own food. And I know that's like crazy. I don't even know if I don't even know if I'm really serious about that. I mean, it could just be like some romantic thing to say. But I mean, whatever I feel, I feel it like it just feels like an awesome thing to do. So I'm just claiming it right now. I'm trying to start the process, just learning. I've just been using um crystals to help stimulate growth and to help protect the plants and to help fortify them. Um, and these you see here, um, these crystals are green aventurine crystals. Uh, and they, um, you know, I was mentioning I use, I had that green aventurine wand um, on my altar, but I also use these crystals here because they're really great for plant growth um, and helping to encourage plant growth. So, um, can see here's there you go see basil here's lavender right here it's just starting to really grow a little bit sometimes I'll put like a crystal right on top you know if the plant is okay big enough to handle it other times I'll just put like surrounding the outside of the plant I can put it you know you can put it around the pot um, wherever or the bigger container that it's in. You see how it's in this sort of green and pink container here. There's a pink underneath it, but I'll just put it, place it in that sometimes and not actually um, on the soil. Um, but yeah, that is what I do with my crystals. Those are the biggest things I do. I mean, there are more things, um, but these are the main things that I'm doing like consistently, you know, like every day. I hope you enjoyed um, that. Uh, keep in mind, um, I didn't show you my whole crystal collection because honestly, we'd probably be here for a good 38 hours. If you have any questions at all about a certain crystal or anything at all, um, just let me know. If you want to learn more about meditation and spirituality and all of that, go to my website, rodajordan.com. I'm always here for support, so let me know what you need. I will. See you next time.